Hello and welcome to another Nicomedia tutorial. So this is again no tutorial, this is a quick tip once more. And I got a lot of questions about my last tutorial. This was this one here with the moving sweep animation. And there I made this, this, uh, yeah, this is what Katie is here. And I uh, converted them later on uh, as an alembic file. So as I baked them as an alembic file to get this this current state to, to object and uh, many people ask me uh, how you can do this uh, if you don't have r20 or r21 so in r19 you don't have this vector alembic so how can we uh, make a dynamic spline to uh, current state to object and this is not so easy but uh, yeah it is easy when you know the, the, the trick but uh, I will show you how to do this. So I make this this dynamic spline. So make a floor. The simple thing here and helix. Let's make the zero twenty something like this. Nice. So the floor gets a rigid body tag. So you get a collider body and the helix gets a soft body so the helix uh, what do I want here in the helix I want uh, let's say here 20 and here I go to 2 should be fine and soft body this is just uh, the uh, numbers I use almost every time when I work with spline so yeah, 500 so here 10, 10 and rest length of 50, so this should be nice. Then a force of 99 here. And here I want a margin of, I want to make a, a, a diameter of a three, or a radius of three centimeter here for the, for the uh, sweep. So I make here a little bigger, let's say. 3.2 should be fine. Then well, let's fold this now. So we have this nice spline, and you see, this looks everything looks quite nice here. And then I put this in a sweep. So let's make a circle. I have to set to three centimeter radius. Put this in a sweep. Check. It looks nice. And the circle here. So with this. And uh, I want here to notice that means I have to go here in the soft body Let's here and flex to five. It doesn't matter now, but I just want to show you how this works, but. Yes, it does matter, so I go back to 5 here, not 5 I said. Okay, so I have this, okay, put this in a subdivision surface and we get a nice spaghetti here. And now the problem is, how can I make this current state to object? Yeah, normally I would say, haha, go to my sweep and hit current state to object. Right click, currency to object, or I have it here. I have it here in my toolbar. So sweep selected, currency to object, and this is what I get. I don't get this current state here with my sweep. You see, this always goes back to the first position, and this is not. I tried everything. I tried <coughs> to, to bake this and. You can try a lot of things. Uh, sometimes it looks like it, it works, but uh, then they can not. So I'm going to show you what I mean. When I go to here, so let's say I go to frame 60 is nice. This is what I like, this state. So I go to dynamics, say set initial state. So when I go to frame zero, you see it stays at this frame. I thought, yes, that's it. Let's make this helix here editable, current state to object. And whoop, we get our spline back. Not the other one. So I thought then, okay, I'm back on zero with this. 
let's bake this cash bake it wink okay it's baked so we should see it okay on frame zero it's this but on frame one I go is g1 frame four this would be the state i want go to here current state to object no does not work except work, nothing works here so i thought about what will we do with this and so let's delete clear object cache clear initial state okay what i did now is i know the helix uh, works now perfect so i drag it out here and now i clone some matrices on my helix here so i go to Mo mograph matrix and want to go in object mode and the object is my helix so you see okay well let's make the matrices a little smaller here okay, two should be fine okay and i want much more here let's see even no loop and give it some, uh, okay this, this should be fine now I go check and I see, okay, this is not what I want. In R21, I don't know why, but it is like this. And the uh, rigid body, the, the decks here, they have uh, default in collision apply to all children and all. Uh, it is, in the earlier versions, this is here, known and off, and this is what I want. And now, this falls exactly like my spline. See this? So I can take more matrices so that it's closed here. So, do something like this. Okay, okay, it looks nice. I can even take less, but we can change this later. So it's, now I have my matrices here. Let's see if it works better. If my, oh, it's the same. Okay. The matrix, now I use a tracer, I select my matrix, my matrix object and now I select tracer. Uh, because I selected the matrix before, I have the matrix here already inside the tracer. And tell here, connect all objects. So let's hide this tracer. Do you see we get a spline? You see this white spline? Let's make this, give it a little color here so that we can see it on some green color here okay so we see our green color and now when i play see, okay we have a spline which looks great so let's put this tracer in this sweep okay 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 the tracer i can bring down here uh, linear, this is okay. We have a little much. When I go with the matrices down here, you see. I, I, I just try it like, and let this fall. You see, that works. Great. Okay, here I have a big gap between, so this is. Here the margin, let's go to three. And this again. Could do even less, 2.8, not 8.2, 2.8. .2, 2 so yes, that looks fine. That looks not fine, that looks great. So and now I want this state, and this is now no problem. With the tracer, the tracer I can make editable. So I could go now, I can make directly the sweep editable here, or the subdivision surface if I want. I go to my sweep, current state to object, and now I have my sweep here. I can hide all these things here. So disable everything and I have my sweep here. Put this sweep in my subdivision surface, and now disable all the dynamics here. And now I have a current state to object 
thing here and I don't need any other things here. And you can do this with more uh, splines. I'll show you how to, you do this with more splines. Uh, so, because we in my tutorial I used four splines, I think, and uh, let's do this. We have here a trace. Uh, okay, let's make another helix. So I just uh, hold my control key and drag it on the side so I can make a copy of my helix here. See, rotate it a little bit. So, so make another one, control. Okay, so I'll take this a little bit, uh, something like that. Now I have three splines. Uh, one, two. So in matrix one, I cannot put all the, the, the three splines together. This, this is not possible. Uh, when I, because when I put this in, in a, okay, I'll show it, two chairs. Uh, so enable this again. This should work now. So this works all so okay. And now the matrices. Uh, the matrices I need. The matrix. Here. Let's say I make this all together. So uh, connect objects and delete. So I have, this is one spline now. In the matrix. I want this one object. This is this. It, now it looks nice. This is. It looks okay. But now the tracer. If it, when I see my tracer. The tracer should be green. The tracer does not work correctly with this here. You see, we have here a line which dis disturbs us and then everything. So this does not really work. So let's go back. Control Z until I have my three helixes. Okay. Nice. And now make the matrix one with helix. This is a matrix zero with helix zero. In the tracer matrix. Okay, this is my first. And I copy the tracer. Copy the matrix. The matrix one I put in the helix one and in the tracer one I put in the matrix one. Okay, and so I do it again. Tracer two, matrix two, oops, back. Matrix two, so in the matrix two, helix two, tracer two, matrix two. Yeah. So this should again work like a charm. Yeah, it works. Let's hide the original helixes here. We don't need them. And we can hide the matrices as well now. We have just our traces here. So let's. Okay, these are our, our traces, our green traces. And now we want to sweep them. So this is quite easy. I make a connect object. Oops, let's connect this here. Bring it under the circle here. And put the three trace in the connect object. So when I make a sweep now, it should sweep. Yep. Check. And it works perfect. So now, again, simple sweep current state object, bye bye, can hide all, all of this here jerk, bonks, bonks, okay, so I see just this one, don't need all the text here, see, put it in a subdivision surface and I have my current state here, works perfect. So, so you can make this <laughs> spaghetti <laughs> with current state to object. Uh, and this works in, uh, I think, in every version. Only thing you have to have is uh, uh, the MoGraph, of course. And then you get this. Okay, I, I hope this helped and yeah.
Next tutorial will come soon as possible. <laughs> I promise. I wish you all a wonderful Sunday and have a good time. All the best here from Vienna, Austria. And yeah, if you have questions, requests, complaints, just write me in the comments, Facebook site, Facebook group, website, wherever you want. If you want to donate, you find a link in the donation. Uh, you find a link in the donation. You find a link in the description. And yeah, I really appreciate this, of course. And if you want to support me on Patreon, which I appreciate as well, of course, uh, you find also a link in the description. So that's it for now. And yeah, I hope this is helpful. Bye bye and have a nice day. And tschüss and baba.